Hey there guys and welcome back Alex here. We're uh, doing a Lego City update. It's been a little while since I've done a video in the city and uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back here. Uh, this is the update. I have added a uh, car dealership to my city and that's what you're looking at right here with that uh, very red and dark black building and a bunch of very small compact cars. I was playing over the weekend in this area and just wasn't really satisfied with how things were looking here. It was very kind of a discombobulated mess. So I thought, you know what? I could throw down a couple of large gray base plates, construct a small building, and throw a bunch of cars down and call it a car dealership. So that is what I did, and this is the result. So let's say you live in the city of Zanderberg and you're in the market for a new car. Well, you're going to mosey on down to your local car dealership here. And what are your options? Well, unfortunately, they are a little bit limited to one body style. And that's pretty much what you see here. Uh, this is a little compact car that's uh, of my own uh, creation and a very simple design, uh, I guess. Uh, your choices are going to be what kind of windscreen you want, uh, color, obviously, and there's different variations of uh, tire as well. Um, here's one with some very sporty looking tires. Ooh, very nice. Even has doors. Uh, some of these don't have doors. So if you want yours fully equipped with doors, that's going to cost you a little extra. But um, I continued to create these cars uh, over time and uh, they've just kind of crowded my Lego city. And I thought, hey, this would be a good opportunity to pull them all together into a dealership. Because when you go to a car dealership, they have a lot of the same car lined up like so. So when you come here, your options are going to be basically what color of this car do you want, which is going to come down to red or black. And there are, of course, some other variations, but those are pretty much your two uh, options. Now let's take a look at the building itself. Nothing too crazy or fancy here. Went for a basic uh, build. When I first did the building, uh, all the, uh, the red that you see here was actually yellow. And I just didn't like the yellow. Um, so I went with more conservative bright red uh, color, if you can call that conservative. And it just worked a lot better. So uh, nothing too big or too fancy, but it's obviously not a powerhouse uh, looking structure. But um, I guess it kind of gives you the, uh, the feeling that if you're buying a car here, you wonder if it's even going to be here next next month, but uh, it will be. I'll keep it here for a while, but uh, let's go ahead and it does have a, a bit of an interior. I'll we'll go ahead and uh, we'll lift off the roof and we'll take a look inside. Inside we find a very small showroom featuring one little car. I have some automotive decoration there on the wall, some black and silver rims. Perhaps they are uh, optional extras for your car, though I doubt they would fit on those wheels of these tiny cars. We also have the uh, cute little receptionist there to welcome you just in case the barrage of pushy salesmen somehow missed you. Here on the other side of the building, I just set up a couple of tables uh, where people can sit down after they've made perhaps a decision to buy a car. Then they can begin those negotiations of uh, you know how much they can afford to put down, their monthly payment. And then, of course, after you figure that all out, uh, they continue to push products on you that you really don't care to have or really need. And in case you're wondering how they get cars in and out of the showroom, I did think of that. Here is the garage on this end that faces the street. That simply moves up, and then you can move the vehicle in or out. And that is pretty much about as fancy as this thing gets, you guys. I am aware that every car dealership needs a service center. This one doesn't really have one. Uh, so what I went with is the notion that they've got a good working uh, relationship with this garage right behind them. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going with right now. I also still have the... Uh, the garage, the Octane garage right there, and that's on that corner. So that's that actually took the place of uh, the uh, rescue base. So the rescue base has been retired and put into storage. So sad, right? But that is the way it goes. Got to make way for other things. So that is my car dealership. So you'll notice right here, it is right next to the uh, the train uh, the train track. It'd be a terrible shame if there was a train crash and it took out all of these fantastic new little cars. Hopefully they are in short. Um, but I've got these nice Technic beams that are working out really well as uh, as the fences all around it. So it's, it's pretty cool. What I'll have to do is, is put out some very fancy sports cars out here. Uh, so when you drive past uh, you and you and you pull, you pull in and you think you're going to buy a really cool car, but you end up uh, leaving a lot with uh, like this lady right here in one of these uh, subpar vehicles. But uh, hey, you go with what you can afford, guys, right? 
So one more thing to mention before I sign off here, guys. Last Saturday, my niece and nephew came by and we ended up making a couple of stop motion videos uh, in the city of Zanderberg here. They're, they're pretty short, but I think they're worth checking out. I put the links in the description below. Uh, go ahead and take a look. Let me know what you think and definitely give her a thumbs up. Those stop motion videos, uh, they take a lot of work to put together uh, despite them being so short. But um, take a look and uh, we'll see you guys in the very near future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.